Let's get ready to get after it. I want to tell you I'm proud of you guys. I'm proud of the guys in this room. I'm proud of you of how you've responded, how we've reacted to the situation we're in. If you go hard every play, we can call each other brothers for life, bro. Enjoy the game of football. That's what it's all about. Pay for your brother tonight, man. Pay for the man next hey. to you, bro. Hey, hey, brothers on three. One, two, three. Hey. You're always going to get a, a team that plays real hard against Kentucky. I mean, every year we've played them, it's been pretty close battles coming right down to the wire. And so uh, you kind of, you've, we've kind of expected those type of games from them and uh, a bunch of guys that play really hard. Formation, he's in the gun, he takes it and he fakes it and he keeps it, tries to get to the outside and he is not going anywhere. Austin McGinnis has hit five or six high snap, but they got it down and it hits the upright and comes off and it does not go through. We know what kind of defense we had to do and had to play to keep um, they, they best running back, Boone Williams. So we, we knew. We just had to come in and just stop him and just keep going. Spencer uh, Johnson going to take it and uh, give it to Williams, trying to get outside. There's nothing there. And that is Jamal Peters who comes up and knocks him down back at the 30-yard line. And he's made a 48-yarder, his long, this one from 46, and it's on the way, and it's got enough distance, and it looks pretty good, and it is good. The first quarter, our, our first four offensive drives were all three and outs. Uh, I think we did everything we possibly could to shoot ourselves in the foot, stop any momentum that we could possibly have. The defense played amazingly. Uh, how we were playing, we should have we been down by a lot more than we were. Uh, and then finally, uh, the fifth drive, we, we finally started, you know, just, everyone just kind of did their job. Everyone kind of relaxed, settled down, did their job, and we started moving the ball. Second and 10, Deere comes in, they give him the ball, he turns it up, bites through a tackle, breaks another tackle to the 30, goes to the 20, he's in a foot race at the 10, he's at the 5, he's in for a touchdown. Boy, he just ran through two tackles on that beautiful run. Coach just told me when, when I go in there, just read it and be a playmaker. So when I got the ball, I, I went through my progression, saw a hole, and I hit it, hit it hard as I could. And I knew I just had to get in the end zone sometime soon, so I guess that was just my moment. I got back to pass, in trouble, and he's going to be caught and uh, dropped. Ball sacked it on the side to 35, ball comes out. I think Calvin was the guy who got him from behind and raked it out, was he not? Yeah. And the Bulldogs have recovered the fumble. Yeah, Marquis Spencer, Jim, the freshman. They tried to pass, we got some pressure on him. Uh, you know, got, got them in a, in a passing situation. We were able to get some pressure on him, strip stack, sack. Uh, we recovered the fumble and, um, you know, and, and it, it, I think really started to give us some confidence. All right, Fitzgerald takes the snap. And he gives it to Shepard, who flips it back to Deer, and around to the 30, got a blocker. He's going to get to the 20 and gets knocked out of bounds. Tight end on the right side. Here it is, Fitzgerald got a hole, goes to the end zone, touchdown. Well, that offensive line has to feel good. That's a confidence builder right there, that drive when you had to have it. We called the same play twice in a row. The, the first time, you know, I had some good blocks. I didn't make the right read on the blocks. I got tackled. I went back to the same exact formation, same exact play. I uh, read the blocks the right way and just broke an arm tackle, got in the end zone. Uh, and, I mean, at that point, we, we knew that momentum was going to start going our way and uh, that things, were, things were starting to pick up, start going our way, and that uh, we, we could definitely win this game. Three-man defensive front, Bulldogs show blitz. Here comes the blitz, and they get to him. He tries to throw it away in the arms and throws it into the sideline. Ruddy has hit a 46-yarder, missed a 28-yarder. This one from 32, and it's got plenty of leg, and it looks pretty good, and it is. And the half runs out, and it's 14-6. Mississippi State leading Kentucky here at the intermission at Commonwealth Stadium. It's going to be a four-quarter game. We got to come out. We got to play for four quarters. You know, it always comes right down to the wire. We got to keep executing, go out there, have fun, play with energy and juice. And uh, our guys certainly did that for the entire game. Hi, Dak Prescott here. After losing my mom to colon cancer in 2013, it became personal to me. It is the second leading cancer killer. The good thing, though, it can be prevented, it can be treated, and it can be beaten. So if you're 50 or older, get screened. Do it for me and do it for yourself. Come see us at Gastroenterology Associates or Baptist Cancer Center. Locations in Columbus and Starkville. The 2016 Nissan Altima. 
AIHS Top Safety Pick Plus. With forward emergency braking that could stop for you. Get to your local Nissan store today. Take on sudden stops. Get to Nissan, proud partner of the Mississippi State Bulldogs. Wildcat look, put a man in motion and gonna hand it to him and now they're gonna reverse it. Got a man downfield, long pass with Bedette there to catch it at the 15, 10, five touchdown. Goes and now snaps it and they're gonna give a reverse to Garrett Johnson, gonna flip it and it is complete. And did he get there? No, I don't think he did. The Bulldogs with a saving tackle. They scored on, on the trick play, and uh, the second it happened, uh, the whole offense was just like, you know what happens? We got we got to score right back. We got we got to answer them, and uh, we got we got to keep playing our game. Not not really worrying about what they're doing, but just focus on us each one play at a time, and just drive the ball on the field, score. So it will be a 36-yard field goal attempt. Snap back is good. Kick is on the way. It is long enough, and it is good. And Graves has kicked the field goal, a much needed one for the Bulldogs, and the lead goes out to 17 to 12. He was stepping down inside, and PAT field goal is obviously a, a dangerous play because you're sitting there protecting, and you got all the, you got a bunch of 300-pound guys just charging at you, taking shots at you. So, uh, it's one of the most, if not the most, dangerous play in football. You know, I mean, he was there stepping down in his gap, and he just got his head turned sideways, and uh, you know, and a, his, his neck over overstretched. Went out there, and he was alert, which was fantastic. He had, he could move his fingers and his toes, which was great, and uh, just had some numbness in his in his arms, and. Uh, you know, so our training staff, uh, one, they do an unbelievable, Dan Jacoby and the training staff do an unbelievable job handling every situation, protecting our players, keeping them safe. Um, you know, and then, I, you know, Mark, Mark Stoops came out, checked on him, and I think both of us were there talking, and it's a scary situation for anybody, you know, that, that it's players there, and then when you, you think, okay, um, there, there's, a lot, there's some, some good positive signs that it, everything uh, could be okay. Uh, you, know, you want to back tell the team, so immediately I told him, and you know I think he went and told his team that you know he's got movement, he's alert, and all those things, and, and so they, but they got to be extremely precautionary with any time you have a neck injury, uh, head or a neck injury, and uh, went back told our guys that just say a prayer, but that he was alert, and moving, and I think that that kind of uh, makes guys feel a little bit better. We had. Um, uh, our assistant athletic director, John Clark, immediately uh, went in the locker room to call his mom to give her an immediate update, even I think before, before he even left the field, uh, you know, so that his family could understand what was going on uh, and where he was, because I know it's a, as a parent, uh, it'd be such a, a, is a scary thing to see as a parent. Uh, so we immediately notified the family of everything that was going on and then uh, in, uh, you stayed in great contact with them through the night. When it happened, we just, all we did was just take a knee and we got together, we prayed, and we're just praying that he was okay. It wasn't nothing serious. All the team kind of kind of came together. We walked down the field, uh, just trying to just trying to see what was going on. Coach Mullen told us that uh, he was he was able to move some of his limbs, some of that. So it was a great sign. Uh, there, it's, it's more precautionary. So uh, we we heard that. We were we were obviously excited that uh, nothing too serious had happened, and uh, we were excited to hear the next day that uh, it, it was nothing nothing too serious. He was coming home just wear a neck brace for a few days, so we're glad that he's okay. Have Nelson Adams on the uh, on the center right now as the nose guard is a third and 10 on the inside, given a huge hole, and there goes Snell all the way for a touchdown. Open field to the right of the quarterback, put uh, Taven Richardson in motion. Going to overload everything to the right, running and firing, and the pass is caught. But did he get it in time? Yes, they say it's good for two. Yeah. 
have three receivers stacked out just to the right side and the uh, fake and now the throw out and is complete at the 40. That'll be much more than a first down. A move by Mixon to make the first guy miss as he crosses the 50. 22 yards on the game. They're on the Kentucky 38. And there's the fake and the keep by the quarterback. Breaks free to the 30, to the 20, to the 10. Fitzgerald is in the end zone for a touchdown. There was no really edge to the defense. Uh, pulled the ball. A guy came to kind of get me. I, I pump faked outside, and he kind of he kind of froze his feet. Now it's just enough for me to slip by him. Uh, broke a tackle and just took it to the end zone. Kentucky on the march, trailing 24-20. Snap to a Spencer, back to pass. Long throw down the field. Badetta is there. The ball is going to be knocked away at the last instant by Jamal Peters. Or did he catch it? He held on to it. Snap it to Fitzgerald, stands in the pocket, fires it, and a pass is intercepted, and he's going to take it to the house. Stepping in front of a Fitzgerald pass is Marcus Mack Wilson, and he streaks from about the 45 or so. On the move, Mississippi State headed to the other end. All the way to the end zone with an escort goes Mark McLaurin. I seen our D-line and everybody grab up on the quarterback, and I just so happened to see the ball. It just popped out, and I don't think anybody else seen it but me. And when I seen it, I just I just reacted. It was an immediate right, uh, decision, so I just reacted. And I hit it out the pile, make sure there was nobody around, because I knew we needed to get the ball and score. So it's just scoop and score, and so happened to Jamal Peters, and they uh, they escorted me all the way down to the end zone. Thirty-three yard field goal attempt, a little bit of a high snap. He got it away though, and it is good. He just barely got it away. We're looking at the clock. We got the ball. We, you knew they're not, you know, we're down six. There's not going to be a lot of possessions left in the game. This is our chance to go out and make plays and go win the game. And uh, we were able to do that and, and even overcome penalties during the, the, you know, we had a, a penalty during the drive, which a lot of times could be a drive killer. Our guys were able to buckle down and make plays and overcome uh, the penalty in the drive and uh, it get us down into the red zone. And then, you know, I mean, Nick makes a, a spectacular throw to Fred and Fred makes a, a great catch on the third down to put us up put us up by one with a minute to go. He's got the play call, waiting on the snap from center. He gets it, here comes the blitz, throws it in the middle, at the goal line, touchdown Mississippi State. Fred made uh, an amazing read. Uh, he he saw that we were gonna be hot, I mean, they bring more guys than we had to block, and uh, I, saw, I saw a guy come right up the middle, and uh, I looked and just saw that he had actually ran the, the correct route. He cut it off uh, short, and he beat his guy inside, and I just kinda threw it up for him, he made a, a heck of a catch. We knew how much time they had, and we knew they wasn't just gonna lay down, so we knew we had to come back on the field and just get one more stop. Kentucky ready to go in a hurry. 19 seconds, 18 seconds. Back to pass is Johnson. Gonna step up and are now gonna throw it deep. Receiver out there and the pass is not caught. It was in and out of the hands. Bulldogs secondary gonna be tested. They're gonna rush three. And uh, now uh, Johnson stepping up. He's gonna fire it down the field, caught and down at the, about the 33 yard line with three seconds. They're gonna get a shot at about a 50 yard field goal. And it's straight away, and all he's got to do is have enough leg. Everybody up there trying to give a good push on a rush. Snap back, a little bit high. Now he gets rid of it, he kicks it, it's long, and it is good. And it's over, and Kentucky wins it. Where we are as a team, we, we got to keep battling and fighting. We're right there. We got to got to continue to 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 play with the effort and, and make a play to go win the game at the end of the game. And um, uh, you know, hey, keep that the attitude positive and keep developing and growing the right way. The thing about this game, we got we got another Saturday to play. So just come back out uh, when we get to practice. Just go, just go and play hard. Just go play hard and have fun in everything we do.
this year, don't just dream about it, go. Turn to Prime Sport for exclusive access to the biggest sporting events on the planet. With premium seats, VIP access, exclusive pre-game events, and more. Go to primesport.com now. The 2016 Nissan Altima. An IIHS Top Safety Pick Plus. Forward emergency braking that could stop for you. Get to your local Nissan store today. Take on sudden stops. Get to Nissan, proud partner of the Mississippi State Bulldogs. Dog Talk has a new home, and that home is the veranda. Join me, Dan Mullen, every Thursday during football season for dinner and Dog Talk Live. The veranda is home to the best steaks in Starkville and the best blue plates in Mississippi. Jay Yates is always cooking up something delicious. I'll see you at the veranda where it's all about the flavor. Sanford has a very good offense that I've heard. Um, very explosive, they're six and one in their conference, so we just can't take them lightly. I know they're gonna try to come out and play hard. Uh, we scheduled them for homecoming, so they should make them feel some type of way. But I just know they're gonna try to come out and come hard and try to beat it. They're a very good team. They have, they have a lot of talented players. Uh, they're, they're six and one coming off their, their only losses to uh, the University of Tennessee Chattanooga, who uh, is like, I think number three in, in the country in their, in their league. and. Uh, they're, they're definitely a good team on defense. They're, they're fast. They, uh, they don't really do anything too complicated, but they play really hard uh, on offense. Uh, the quarterback, Devin Hodges, is an extremely accurate passer. Uh, he's completing like 70% of his passes or something like that. And uh, they, they score very quickly, and they, they have the ability to score very quickly. So uh, it's going to be a good game. We're expecting them to, um, they, from film wise, right now, we see they love to pass, they run into. They, I mean, they're a great team, so we just can't take them lightly. We just have to come in and be ready. For an FCS school, they're their best FCS team I, I've seen on film that we've played. Um, certainly the best one, I, probably the best one I've seen in a, in a long time. Um, they have a dynamic offense, a great quarterback that can make all the throws. They got dynamic receivers. They throw it all over the place. Uh, they got playmaking running backs and a very aggressive defense. And uh, uh, they're an excellent, excellent football team. And, and you know, we're gonna have to come out there. We're gonna have to play 60 minutes of great effort. It's a great thing, hopefully being back at home. Uh, you know, you, you get that home field advantage where you get crowd noise, you get the electricity, you feed off the crowd, the excitement of all our fans back in the stadium. And, um, you know, how, again, how we've built this program through the years to get to where it is, is, is that, is everybody, everybody being all in to what we're doing and, and going out and uh, the players playing hard for, for 60 minutes, the fans going crazy and giving us that home field advantage for 60 minutes. Um, and we're going to need that to, to beat uh, one of the best FCS teams in the, in the country.